very happy to join you. So, my name is uh, Quentin Um I'm a green code developer and software developer, software engineer at Docs Info. So, today's talk is about uh, green open resource problems. You uh, can, can also call it less I or cryptographer. Um, so, it all started a few months ago when Gobi received a lot of funding with green. People started to ask us, uh, why don't you ask, uh, why don't you hire a cryptographer? So we are not really against the idea, but like we have to first to answer our many question. Um, for example, um, sorry, yeah. So who, which subject, the timelines? We want to have like any uh, dedicated funding for that too. So in this presentation, I will try to answer like some of these questions and some of them are still open to, uh, to ideas, for sure. So, first, define the research program that we have in green. So, I think we can classify the problem that we want to explore with green in four categories. So there is um, privacy enhancement, optimization, implementation, and some kind of magic cryptography which I call um, abstract cryptographic problems. And so, uh, a few months ago, we identified uh, 10 problems that we want to solve. So, I'm not going to talk about all of them today. It will be like way too long. So, there is a link on the uh, green wiki, but actually, now when you, uh, when you go to green.mw, there is a direct link when you click, and we can click on research, and you will see uh, this list completely. So, today I'm going to talk about um, four um, problems that I find really interesting and worth exploring like, uh, as soon as possible. Um, the first one is kernel aggregation. So, I feel like if you watch any uh, green presentation, you will see like these little boxes and you know like uh, by all of this. So basically, like when you look at the green blockchain, you see there is always this piece of data that cells that stay all the time, which is called the kernels, and you need to keep them in order to verify the chain. So basically, the idea of this open research program is to find a way to get rid of them or like try to uh, put them together to like. Uh, lower the size of the green blockchain. So, I don't know, for example, you can maybe merge them together. There is some idea with BLS uh, that he's going to talk about to, to do that. Or maybe like get rid of them. Or the thing is like, if we get rid of them, we lose also uh, what is called scriptless scripts, which are defined in the kernel. Um, so yeah, basically this is like the first research project that I find really interesting. It's like, again, you have this piece of data, uh, you cannot discard it, you cannot remove it, uh, but maybe you can do something with it, you can take a way, maybe yeah, find to identify potential ways to aggregate them, remove them in the future. Um, the second research problem that I want to talk about is, uh, I think, maybe one of the most important problems that we have right now with Green, and Daniel talked about it, like, uh, it earlier, it's like, when you look at the network, you have like a um, green transaction input and outputs, and also uh, kernels. And when you like listen on the network, you can see clearly, uh, I mean, you can see like the input outputs, and you can uh, easily, I mean, like, not trivially, it's not trivial, but like you can um, define entities, and you can say, oh, okay, this guy uh, has like, uh, this input output, this other guy too. But you won't be able to say who. You won't, you won't be able to tell like which amount. But it's still possible to do like this kind of uh, clustering, I would say. And so the current situation for that is uh, if I is not great. Um, so basically uh, the goal is to find a way to reduce the negativity of inputs on chain. Um, to support like um, Monday that's here. Uh, I don't think member river privacy is fundamentally flawed, sorry. And I believe there's a way to fix it. 
I don't like Venice. I think Valdok will talk about uh, Lelantis, involving the last earth, uh, there is like decoy outputs which are implemented in Monero. I think there is a lot of way to uh, to, uh, to fix this. Um, so the third problem is fly clients. So this we talked about this one a bit earlier. It's a, it's a way to verify the blockchain to basically like think and verify the blockchain very very quickly. Um, so it was created by uh, Lolu, Benedict Benz, and Marisa Damani and presented as Kelly Beacon in 2017. Uh, basically, you store the market monte rush header root in the block header, and you can very, very quickly ch check the blockchain validity uh, with near certainty. And there is two use case for Green. You can, you can like deploy super fast, super light clients, and you can also um, put it in Green and like quickly notify the longest chain for full node. Um, so it's mostly like this one is an implementation program. So, and I think right now we have everything in there. We have already the market motor range roots in the header. So it's mostly like, uh, it's mostly like an, an, an implementation program uh, for people to uh, start writing code and like, j just check that everything is in there and like, start writing a flight client. Okay, and the, the last problem that I want to talk about today, I think the second most important one, but maybe the next one is it's a bit tricky. Uh, it's uh, asynchronous transaction building. So basically, as Mike know, like today, when you want to send money to someone, you have to uh, you have to do like some kind of round trip. So people say you have to be online, but like really you need a round trip between payer and payee. So or like the other way around when you do an invoice. So basically, like the idea is to find a way to. Uh, to do like transaction like offline. So there have been like several research attempts to fix this. Um, there is the idea of federated relays in Wallet uh, 13 or there is the idea of beam shared boot and board system. And the, uh, and the goal is to uh, find a way to uh, to do like transaction asynchronously and a robust and privacy preserving method. So it's not easy to uh, to uh, like uh, the middle ground between those three. Uh, they then draft RFC by David Rocket uh, about like defining a higher level uh, of this. Also link with a Tor Tor release too. Okay, so but like, what's the target and like, is there any funding available? Uh, so I think for this we want to. Uh, Take anyone, like you in the room, maybe you can, you can take one of them, or maybe like we want to work with academia, like a uh, researcher, expert cryptographer, developers, so basically anyone. And is there any funding? So I think we can say there is something available in the Green General Fund. Uh, I would say there is some reasonable requirements that we want to have. It's like you have some kind of track record, uh, clear objective, clear plan. Uh, the plan is also a time constraint, like not a five year contract, for example. And uh, if you're interested, you can join us in key base and uh, say, I, I want to work on this, uh, or you can talk to us after. And the last part is uh, what's next. So basically, like, now we know that we have all of these programs, what do we do? So, I think it's going to be a bit, uh, bit short on this. So, what you want to do right now is like to increase visibility of all the programs. And so, as I told you before, there's a new page on the website, which is called, so you click on research. Um, but like, I just opened yesterday a new issue on the Mimbo River site repo. So, basically like, we want to hear your suggestion. What we can do to uh, to onboard like researcher, like a cryptographer, with us. So maybe we can do something like uh, Monero, like uh, funding like Monero, or maybe like we can do bounty, like put a price on a project. Uh, I don't know. So this is still open, and like we, I think we are eager to to hear your proposition here.
Any questions?